Hey, so I'm Kevin Gadd. Uh, I've been programming since I was around eight or so. Uh, I got interested in it even before then, though, because my uh, my father was a computer scientist of sorts. He worked at a data center for a company that distributed medical supplies, which was actually something I never would have thought involved computers. So from an early age, he was bringing home all sorts of auto electronics hardware from where he worked. He would bring me these little computers, like uh, one of the first things that he got me that got me interested was a little TRS-80, which was this portable computer that had this gigantic keyboard and needed batteries, and basically could do anything, but the one thing it could do is it let you type in programs and run them and you could see messages on the screen, and I thought that was awesome. So from then on, he'd just periodically bring me these new things that I could play with. He'd give me some books that he had that explained how to program and all that. And from then on, I just sort of, when I was bored, instead of uh, going and watching TV, I'd start messing around on the computer, typing in basic or something like that, trying to put pictures on the screen or play sounds out of the speaker. And eventually, um, I got to know these people from the local area who were computer programmers or even game designers who I happen to know through friends or through acquaintances. And some of those people were like, hey, I've got some books on how to program games. Here are some sites you should look at. And from then on, it was basically just when I was bored, not only would I be messing around on the computer, but I'd be digging through all of these books that I found at the library or at a bookstore or reading on these websites about, here's how you do this, here's how you do that. And basically I realized, hey, I like video games, I like writing programs, I should try and write a video game. And from that point on, it was basically like, okay, how do I build these worlds, how do I build these graphics, how do I make these things that are fun for people to play, how do I make these things that I like? And from then on, basically just spent my summers doing that, spent my weekends doing that, building things, learning how they worked, learning how they didn't work, making lots and lots of mistakes, talking to other people. And uh, eventually, uh, I got a job offer from a company up in Seattle while I was in college, to work on video games, and I'm like, sure, why not? I'll go for it. I moved up to Washington, worked on video games for two years, had a really fun time doing it, and moved down here to the Bay Area to work in a startup where, honestly, uh, best job of my entire life, had the freedom to learn lots and lots of cool stuff, uh, and now, basically, I earned enough there that I've uh, decided to try and work on my own and build my own video game, so that's what I'm doing right now, and I'm having a lot of fun doing it. Hi, my name is Drew Pertula. Um, I'm 30 years old now, but I started when I was maybe six, and my dad brought home uh, the computers of the time, which were not as good as what we have now, and, uh, and he deliberately did not get any games, and that's what uh, kids like me would want to play would be computer games, and he didn't bring any home. Um, so I had to learn to write my own, and I did, and I learned basic at the time, and I moved on to other languages, but I was, uh, you know, at first writing my own games, um, and I was also watching movies, and I saw, you know, around that era, movies were, were filling with fancier and fancier visual effects made on computers, and so I was very interested in how, um, you know, how do these movie makers make those fantastic visuals, and so um, my programming started veering into computer graphics, I was trying to, you know, simulate landscapes and make uh, renderings of plants and things, um, was a... I think years of my life were spent on that. And then um, uh, when I went to school, I studied computer graphics, which is a thing you can do. So I took classes on curved surfaces and a class on uh, you know, uh, properties of light and fluid mechanics and things like this. Um, and finally get, did get a job in the movie. So I work at DreamWorks Animation now. Um, I worked in the cloth group for a while, the cloth simulation. So we would actually make like skirts and, uh, and, and things happen and wrinkle and, and move correctly. Uh, and that's a big physics simulation and a lot of computer science and interesting computer science behind it. Um, and now I'm still at DreamWorks Animation, not doing graphics anymore, but still doing computer programming. So it turns out that in the making of these movies, there's actually a, a very difficult computer science problem, which is um, how do we manage all the data between uh, hundreds of different artists who are all working on the same project at the same time? And that doesn't happen by itself. Um, the artists would, would easily step on each other's toes and, and mess each other up or, or just have a hard time finding each other's work um, unless groups like mine uh, write lots of tools for the artists, write lots of computer programs that, that manage the data and, and keep the company running smoothly. So that's, that's my interest now. Hi, my name is Mike Lundy, um, and I work for NASA uh, at, at, in Mountain View at NASA Ames. Um, and uh, I sort of, I got my start in programming. Um, I was, I think, 10, maybe. Um, and my dad got a PC Junior, um, which was it's an old IBM computer that will make anymore. Um, and uh, it ran BASIC, which is uh, an old operating, uh, or old uh, programming language. Uh, 
and I got a bunch of games for for, for basic. And one of them was um, a game you've probably seen before. You have a little, you're a little snake. You go around eating uh, little food pellets, um, and you eat all the food pellets, and you go on to the next level. Um, well, there was I was playing this game, and I got pretty far in it. But uh, you got you get to a certain level in that game, and it would immediately crash um, because there was a bug in the game, uh, and it frustrated me a lot because I wanted to get further. Um, so I ended up opening up the game and figuring out where the bug was and fixing it. Um, and so that I could I could play longer. I could get to a later level in the game that really nobody who played that game had ever seen because there was a bug in the game that prevented you from getting any further. So that that was sort of my my first taste of programming. And what language um, was that game written in? That was written in Basic. And so you were able to see the source code and you yeah. found the error and then it, you could at fix that it. point at that point I didn't actually even know Basic. I just sort of looked at this like strange thing and I was like, okay. There's here's, here's some basic math, here's some things I don't know what's going on really, but I just sort of messed around with it for a while and just sort of figured out enough of what was going on to fix the problem, even though I didn't really have any idea uh, the, sort of the underlying details of the, of the system. Um, and I've always been, since then, I've always been interested in, in gaming, and so sort of uh, at some point in, I think, middle school, um, I sort of went from playing games to start a, sort of wanting to write them. Um, and so I did a little bit of that, just sort of uh, projects on the side, um, writing little things. Um, and then eventually, I mean, I went to college and went, went to, to college for computer science and electrical engineering, um, and then got a job at NASA uh, through that. Um, and it's a lot of sort of I, I credit that to a lot of like side projects. Like uh, no matter what you're supposed to be working on. Um, it always helps to work on a lot of things on the side and have your own personal projects, and that is sort of what defines you more than uh, more than what you're supposed to be doing, <laughs> I guess. Um. <laughs> what are you What are you doing at NASA now? Um, so I work uh, in the Intelligent Robotics Group, um, and so we work on we actually work on two things um, that are only that are sort of related. We work on uh, robots, robots. So we have a, a robot that we use and we we test out and we test a lot of software on it, um, and that that robot. Uh, hopefully, the, the the software we've written for the robot will eventually run on like the moon or Mars or something like that. Um, and then the other half is sort of map making. Um, we we make maps of the moon and Mars for uh, the trips that we're going to take to go back to those places and explore them later. Um, we need like accurate accurate uh, information about where we can land, um, so those maps will help the the astronauts in the future and the mission planners in the future uh, do that. <laughs>